Welcome to Thursday, February the 11th. I'm Pastor Jim Krieger from Holy Cross Lutheran Church and School in Saginaw, Michigan, celebrating God's Holy Word with you today in our daily devotion. The familiar and comforting words of Psalm 121, verses 1 and 2. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Have you ever taken one of those trips through a rugged area of our country and found yourself thinking or speaking out loud, how did people manage to survive the harsh conditions and uneven terrain so long ago when they journeyed on footstep, horseback, or in covered wagons with the days and weeks ahead in uncertainty and the miles only building up behind them? It's a pretty safe bet that on each of those days of their journey, there was a spiritual component. Psalm 121 is often referred to as a pilgrim psalm because these words were often recited by those who were making their journey to the holy city of Jerusalem for one of the holy days observed each and every year. But as people traveled, it was arduous. There was tough weather at times. But there was always the threat of robbers, and those robbers would seek to take the possessions and gifts that many of these pilgrims carried with them to offer to the Lord at his temple in the holy city. To bring security to the travelers, many groups would place a sentry on the hilltops at night to just watch over the pilgrims as they rested so that marauding robbers could be seen at a distance and the people could be alerted. Now, the author of this psalm obviously was one of those pilgrims who lifted his eyes to the hills as he came closer to Jerusalem, and he saw the sentries. But his hope was not solely invested in the strength of people. He was a God-fearing person, and he knew that it was the Lord God who was watching over him, providing him with safety, with security, protecting him from danger. Almighty God himself, The maker of heaven and earth is also your daily protector. He never grows tired. He never grows weary. He never sleeps. When we are uncertain about the direction that we should be taking in life, when the terrain of each day is so rugged, so uneven that we stumble and fall, when the winds of change threaten to destroy all that we once held dear, when we're unsure about how to make it through each day, we must return to the same question pondered by pilgrims long ago. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. God is always with us in our journey, and he provides all the strength and security we need. He is our fortress, He is our protection. He is our anchor that holds us in place during the most violent and threatening storms of life. Standing firm and secure, we can look beyond ourselves and beyond the day, beyond our fears to the next step, the next day, beyond ourselves to the life abundant in which God alone provides for all of our needs. Consider these words recorded by the Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians 4, 8 through 10. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be made visible in our bodies. God is our constant companion through life, his strength His presence in our lives enables us to overcome the challenges that we face, to remain strong, faithful, and hope-filled. Like a good parent, our Heavenly Father knows our going out and our coming in. We matter to Him. He's never distracted. He knows your needs. He is ultimately and intimately involved in your life. He walks with you each and every day. He leads you. He guides you. He protects and watches over you. He is always with you even when you don't think you feel him there. He's always present in your life, 
whether we acknowledge it or not. Life is truly a journey that must be lived each and every day, sometimes hour by hour, but it is nevertheless a journey we never ever take alone. Almighty God is our ever-present help in times of trouble. Celebrate his presence, celebrate his power, and celebrate the care he provides each and every day for the sake of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, thank you for always being there right beside me, for watching over me, for protecting me, for providing for me, even before I ask. Lift my eyes heavenward and fill me with the knowledge and comfort and strength that every moment of every day of my life matters to you and that I am always safe in your arms as you provide for all of my needs. Help me to lift my eyes heavenward. My help comes from you, the maker of heaven and earth. In the precious name of your son, my savior Jesus, I lift up heavenward the prayer he taught all your people to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.